Okay, we're on the Sua for now, Mendes Pinto. A lot of construction going on in the street today. And it's also kind of a rainy day. Got kind of things going on everywhere around here. There's some also outdoor tables. They're doing some work there. Let's just see what that's all about. Looks like they're repairing everything. And I think they're probably gonna just repair it and then put it back exactly the way it was. But I think it'd be kind of interesting opportunity to do a bunch of different things. So we're gonna film it just in case because we don't know exactly what they're gonna do with it. So let's uh, walk down Hua for now, Mendes Pinto, and go down that way. Hey, after you watch this, tell me what you like most about it. Put it in the comments below. Also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so you can see when I make other videos too. Okay, so I think first thing I'm going to do is walk down that way. There's a cup of coffee. We're going to go back the other way in a minute. So they're doing all this work everywhere. Plus, I just want to give you a little context of everything. So this goes around to Rotary over there, and then it goes up to Dr. Sun Yat-sen, and then you have this, um, we're in this uh, Central Taipa. And we're going to walk and just kind of see what it's like here on this rainy day down the street and see some of the changes. Bunch of uh, kind of Macanese fusion food. It's not a highlight because this is the type of central. We're going to be walking down to a type of village. That's kind of more Macanese food right there. Pork chop on. Um, all right, so we can have a pretty rainy day. This one has these um, alleys that go up into the main street. That main street goes to. Uh, what's that name? But it basically goes down to type of Kotai Strip. I kind of want to see some of this construction too, so we'll walk over that way. This place is new. Bakery, dessert, coffee, and bar. And then right now, um, the cars aren't allowed to go all the way through. But some cars can park here, and then they have to try to figure out how to turn around. Golden Diamond. So the diamond lights are flashing. That's kind of like that vintage 50s kind of thing. Yeah, and there's a, that street goes up because that street's a little bit more higher. Got some beautiful trees. Beautiful building right there too. And then over here, um, this is the corner of the firecrackers factory, which has um, been abandoned for about since the 1980s, I think. But uh, this was a huge place to um, create, manufacture. This place is out of business too. Dang, that's too bad. It's kind of a cool little place. I never had a burger there, but I always wanted to. It's kind of a coffee shop and they have burgers. Um, I'm not really that into burgers as part of the problem, so. But I would have liked to have supported that one. Let's just go check out this out real quick. This is kind of interesting space. Up there is a um, uh, Carmel. Call it. It's like uh, the church is up there, and then some. There's a temple right there, of course. Yeah, that's kind of built. That, that hill is all kind of greenery. And then over there, there's a lot of greenery as well because that's where the firecrackers factory used to be. And they're going to restore that. They're. Um, I think it's going to be ready by the end of this year, I think. But they're basically going to, they're fixing the plumbing right now, I heard. Some beautiful flowers there. I don't know what, they are. I don't know what the flowers are, I usually don't see those. I don't know if there's some certain holiday, the fruit is normal. But the, I don't know if those are lilies or something like that. More temple, beautiful trees. And then this has always been abandoned too. It's always wonder because it's, it's such a beautiful little space, but it's like kind of filled with trash. So you kind of wonder what the long-term purpose or goal is for some of these. So there's a firecracker factory. You can see some buildings over there. You need to see. And those buildings, I guess, I think the plumbing hasn't been used in a long time. 
And that goes up to the Macau Gardens, that's Rue du Supico. I have filmed in there, but it's been quite a while. I've definitely filmed in there recently, but that's Supico Street I haven't filmed in a while. I love these huge giant trees. Actually, there's some other areas that had, there's kind of those giant trees throughout Macau. And there was one particular area that had a big massive row of them. And uh, we had a massive typhoon a few years ago. And all of those were are now gone. Okay, so they're really, uh... Okay, so here's the firecracker factory. So they're gonna restore all that. And they're gonna make it into a tourist site. And I think they're also gonna build some stuff for kids as well, um, for like play, learning kind of stuff, educational things, as well as to um, restore the firecracker factory and kind of um, have it into a tourist attraction. And if they do that, I think it'll be kind of cool because this isn't a great part of Macau, type of. And then actually this is the end of our street and then it turns into this one right here. So for now, Mendy's Pinto is this one. Firecrackers factory, a little parking lot. We're actually doing a lot of work in this one too. And I think we're gonna film this one as a separate street because it has a different name. So that was for now, Mendy's Pinto. Let's go check out the room. Oh, hey guys, three things. Like, subscribe, make some comments below. It'll really help out my channel. All right.